वेलकम थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी टुडे सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन स्विच फ्रॉम एनी अदर नॉर्मल टेक्स्ट एडिटर टू नियो विम सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट आई विल टॉक अबाउट इज हाउ यू कैन ओपन द नियो विम एंड यू कैन क्रिएट अ फाइल यू कैन राइट समथिंग ऑन इट एंड हाउ यू कैन सेव एंड क्विट सेकेंड पॉइंट विल बी हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल द नियो विम इन विंडोज पर्टिकुलरली इन विंडोज एंड थर्ड पॉइंट डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ विम इंसर्ट मोड नॉर्मल मोड Fourth one is I will work on NeoVim with uh, on some Python project, some Python file, not very large project. I will just uh, write some codes on Python and then I will uh, execute the, these codes on uh, some splitted terminal window. Okay. The fifth one is uh, the current uh, NeoVim configuration which I am using. That's uh, NVChat's NeoVim configuration. You can find it in GitHub. Sixth one is about plugins, uh, different plugins which you can install and uh, which will make your life very very productive when you will use them on new wave okay so first thing i will do is i will start my windows terminal okay so this is windows terminal inside windows terminal i am using uh, powershell 7 so you can just start new wave but first just navigate to some project folder so that my files will be arranged okay so uh inside this folder let's make one more folder this is just for demonstration purpose so so right now inside a scratch folder there is nothing so i'm opening the same location in windows explorer okay so i can create any text file using the context menu of windows like this one then i can click on the text document suppose yes i'm opening this file in uh, notepad so i'm writing a name contact okay 656 6 8 9 okay or oh, whatever then i can just uh, close it it will ask me if i want to save yes i want to save okay so how i can do the same thing with windows so right now i've created this file okay let's uh, open new vmware okay so now I will press I. After starting NeoVim, first thing you have to do is press I to insert, uh, so to enter into the insert mode. There are different modes. Uh, so first thing you need to do is press I. After that, you will be in insert mode. In insert mode, you can input the data like uh, this one. okay so then to come back to the normal mode you have to press esc okay instead of esc i press jk there's a feature in neovim you can remap your key to the another key combination like instead of pressing esc i can press jk so i have remapped my jk to the esc that's uh how i can just press jk and uh, it will take me back to normal mode from the insert mode so then i will press shift and colon symbol and i will try to save this file for saving the file we press w in the command mode in neovim okay so if i press w and press enter it says that there is no file name right now this file this data is in the computer memory it's in buffer so i have to provide a file name also so what i can do i can just oh sorry info2 uh sorry info2.txt so you see a new file is created here so now i can edit the same file now i can edit the same file with notepad once again okay 
So you see the same data is here. So this is how you can start working in NeoVim. But to start working in NeoVim, first thing you have to do is you have to install the NeoVim. So how you can install NeoVim in Windows? There is a package manager for Windows which is called Chocolaty. Yes, Chocolaty. And uh, you can install it and using that you can install many packages in your Windows Terminal, PowerShell or the default Windows command prompt. Okay. So all you need to do is first of all install the uh, Chocolaty. Then after that you can just search for the pack packages in uh, your PowerShell or in Windows Terminal. So, but when you want to install any package using the Chocolaty, you need to run your PowerShell as an administrator. Okay. So, when you start your terminal, your PowerShell as administrator, you can just search for any package like this NeoVim and Chocolaty Package Manager will list all the known packages can I no I cannot zoom it okay so it's finding uh, six I mean, sorry uh, four packages you see here so you can just skip choco install NeoVim okay so it's saying me that warning NeoVim NeoVim version 0 0.60 already installed use dash dash force to reinstall so since I already have installed the NeoVim so I don't need to install it okay so one thing more I would like to recommend you to is that you should already have uh, installed the C compiler which is uh, which you can install using the MingW okay if you want to know more about MingW, you can just uh, go to the official pages, official documentation, and you can read more about MingW. It's a, it basically provides the C compiler for your Windows terminal. Okay, so, and uh, you should also install Node.js for Windows. So these all packages, you can think of all these packages as the minimum requirement for running properly the NeoVim, the latest NeoVim. So let's talk a little more about our NeoVim. So there are many uh, modes in uh, NeoVim. Okay. So for example, mm, So there are many modes in NeoVim. So let's talk about those. Okay. So for quitting, you have to be in normal mode. Okay. So if you are in insert mode, you are typing something. Okay. Then you can press ESC key and come back to the normal mode. Once you are normal mode, you can press shift and colon symbol. Then you can quit. Okay. Now since you have made some changes in the text data and you haven't saved the file so it's uh, warning you and it's giving the error message that uh, you haven't uh, saved the file and uh, you wanted to quit so that's why it's a uh, aborting the uh, your quit command okay so you what you need to do you need to uh, you can just press q and exclamation mark in the command mode and what it will do it will just not save anything and it will revert back to the previous version of your file so if you open the same file you will see no changes has been made because 
uh, you put some data then you quit without saving it it's like uh, save sorry quit without saving okay but if you open the same file and if you uh, make some change and uh, okay now you have made some changes and you want to save these changes what you can do you can do w and q okay so this w q is for you can understand it as write and quit okay so this command you will have to provide in command mode when you press shift and colon your cursor moves to the bottom of the uh, vim's status bar so here you can provide various commands okay so there are so many powerful commands are there which you can use which you can execute in a very big size file to perform very uh, productive actions okay like uh, you can just give a command to uh, change a word uh, which has many instances in a file like if you want to change the name of a variable or uh, if you want to change a uh, color hex code which has multiple instances in a thousands of instances in a file and you can do that using the command mode okay so right now suppose i want to save this file with a different name what i can do i can press the i can do the save command and uh, using the save command i will write info underscore three dot txt and now my file has been saved as info three dot txt and see in the tab my previous uh, file is open so i don't think it is a sim uh, feature of default neovim because i am right now using so many plugins okay so first talk about the different modes first one when you open the vim you are in normal mode then when you press i you are in insert mode in insert mode you can give uh, you can input uh, the data and then you have to come back to the normal mode every time you do something then you have to come back to normal mode this is the normal way of doing in vim that's why this is called normal mode but normal mode is actually very very powerful mode because in normal mode you can various very productive applications suppose that i can just uh, copy these files and uh, uh, by visually selecting them and right now i was in visual selection mode if i press v in normal mode i just enter into the visual selection mode i can visually select anything pressing j k okay then i can just copy them and uh, i can just paste them as many times i want okay so how do you navigate inside uh, the vim from word to word there are many many key combinations are there so like if you press e you will move to the end of the word okay so if you keep pressing e it will the, your cursor will jump to the next uh, words ending okay so if you press w it will jump to the next words beginning okay if you press b it will come back to the previous page uh, previous words beginning okay so many ways are there to move to the uh, to make movement in your uh, to make movement of your cursor in the vim okay normally you press h j k l l when you are in vim file you just try to press uh, h j when you are uh, your file has so many lines and uh, you can just try to press j and you will see your cursor is moving to the uh, next line if you press k your cursor will move up to the uh, upper line and if you press l it will move to right and if you press h it will move to left okay so this is how you can uh, navigate inside the neovim and then 
you can uh, write something then you have to come back to the normal board then you have to press wq for writing something and then quitting or you can just press q if you don't want to make changes q and exclamation marks then nothing will be saved and you will just quit the neovim without saving anything and if you want to uh, save the file then you can just press w and q and your file will be saved your file will be returned and you will quit from the vim okay so what is our third point next point our next point is working in neovim okay so let's move to some other file okay so there is a simple python file okay i'm opening it using the neovim okay it gives me uh, some quotient and remainder okay now suppose i want to save i want to run this file what i can do i can just split my current window in uh, vertical mode and then i can run a terminal there inside the neovim so what i can do i can just start a new terminal instance inside the neovim in vertical split okay let's see it this is with the help of a plugin okay so i can just give python and uh, python i can give this command okay so this this code is being executed here okay so this is inside the neovim okay it's not a separate terminal of course this is an instance of the command prompt but it is inside the neovim okay so if i just click here so this is separate terminal instance okay but this is insta inside the neovim okay so into the dividend uh, maybe 56 into the dividers okay so after that i can just uh, i think okay i will exit from the terminal okay so this is how you can uh, start writing some codes in neovim and uh, now let's talk about my configuration so right now i'm using nbchats configuration if you just search for the nbchat git in github or uh, in google it will take you to the nbchats uh, neovim configuration so right now i'm using this configuration okay so in next video i will explain how you can install nvjets neovim and uh, you can get the same configuration so with this default plugins i have installed few more plugins like uh, one for rust one for flutter so in next video i will explain those things how you can install those plugins for example right now you see a very light blue colors uh, bar is showing here it's showing that it's it's showing the git status you can check your uh, git status right in neovim also so this is the with the help of some uh, plugin okay so so there are so many so these are the plugins provided by default with the nvjets neovim configuration so 
so many plugins are there like one for commenting out the code there's a some snippet plugin there's a some many completion plugins for uh, auto completions so in next video i will uh, explain about these plugins in detail with the NVJets NeoV configuration and how you can install it and use it. Okay. And a uh, few more things. If you are fond of so many themes, you can install and use many themes in Vim also. So these are with the and which it's NeoVim configuration only. So, if you want to use the, I'm sorry. If you want to use the default color schemes, uh, which is provided by the Vim or NeoVim, you can just uh, write color scheme here, and you can look for the themes here. Okay. So see you soon in the next video. Thank you.